Hello, hello, my crafty friends. How are we? I'm having a wander around my craft room and I know I've got some stamp, certain stamps I can't find. And I wanted to use... I know I've got the carrots. I just know I've got the carrots. And I know I've got a Beautifully Happy that's already been used. They must be in a box somewhere. Say hi. I can see there's a few of you on. I'm not sure where you're, where you are, whether it's, um, let's see if I can see. Oh, yes, there's five on Facebook and one on YouTube. Well, you learn something new every day. Oh, there's five on each. You just click over there and it tells me where you are. Hi, Karen. Hi, Stamping on a Budget. Love that name. <laughs> From Maryland. How lovely. Hi, Shaz. Hi, Wendy. How are we all today? So I've just had my dinner. I made a lovely um, cola gammon. I follow this lady on um, Instagram called uh, table surgeon and she's a pediatric surgeon um she works in the guys in st thomas's um hospital thing and she lives up the road and she makes the most amazing stuff on but on a budget and things and it was really lovely and she made it at christmas and i thought i'm going to try that so i did i shall have two bottles of cola not even Coca-Cola, just ordinary cola. Oh, it was lovely. And then ha the um, honey and mus muscovado sugar I used. So, hello, Simone. How are you? Hi, Claire. Hi, Katie. Oh, we've got lovely, lots of lovely people on today. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I say this every every week, don't I? I don't know what I'm going to do, but um, I thought I haven't broken out that paper. Regency Park. Um, Love for You dies. They've not been opened yet either. Uh, Love for You stamp set. And I have used this. Um, what did I use that for? Did I use it for numbers or did I use it for just to look at? <laughs> it could have been I might, I might have used it to look at. Oh, I wanted to use the carrots. Um, I don't know. Maybe I didn't get them. Maybe I thought, oh, well, I won't have time to use them, so I won't get them. I don't know. I don't know. Yay for the weekend. Oh, Wendy says, love your... Love your um calendar. Look, <laughs> I got it in TK Maxx last year, and it was um three pounds, and you got loads of it. It's like um desk calendar thing, and I thought, well, I don't care if it says twenty twenty one. I'm just going to be stamping on it. Sometimes you don't want to use your pretty stamping up one. <laughs> Hi Emma, how are you? <laughs> ah. So, um, Stamping on a Budget, you have a YouTube channel about saving money with stamping, but you're still a new YouTuber. What, what's, your, what's your name, Stamping on a Budget? I love to stamp on a budget. Sometimes I think 
I want that and I can't have it and I cry when I see other people doing the things that I wanted to do on it. I'm still looking under the desk. Anyway, I won't look under the desk no more. I think I'll just break it out some some bits because that's what you're here for. You're here, you're here to um, craft with me. So you can use your own stash if you want to craft along. Linda, hello, Linda. You buy lots of retired stamps. Yes, I like retired stamps. Um, yeah, I'll chuck that in the bin. Let's not keep the plastic stuff. Um, oh, oh. So when you look at this paper in the in the catalogue, you just see these colours, don't you? That's pretty. I'm thinking they don't match that, but it doesn't go with that, does it? it goes with that petal park. Oh, but... oh, very nice. Can you see that? Katie said we had a live practice incident at work yesterday for the paramedic student. Wow, what a day. Lots of screaming and fake blood. Oh, I have fab. <laughs> Wendy says her wish list is nearly. I thought that said three hundred pound. I I gasped at that, but it says eight hundred pound. Oh my giddy aunt! Oh my giddy aunt! We want it all, don't we? That's the only thing about not being on artisan anymore. You have to buy your own bits. <laughs> I'm not happy. I buy my own bits. I like a freebie. I quite like that, but I'm not so sure that goes with that. So that might be. Hold on. I think I know what that would go nice with. That would go nice with this set. Silly goose. You got to say that slowly just in case <laughs> you say something else. So we might end up playing with the gooses. But I do like this. I like this paper. And um, I like that love you. Emma used it in a coffee and card today. Beautiful card. Oh, I don't know. Too, too, too much to look at. And not enough time, I think. That's not including the annual catalogue, Wendy says. Oh, wow. <laughs> you pay for the freebies with creativity. Yeah, I suppose I do. Well, I did. <laughs> I did. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, right. Let's get going. What What shall I use? Oh, I, you you can choose actually because I don't know what to use. Uh, if we have thumbs up for the silly goose and hearts for the love for you now i didn't do that on purpose with the hearts actually <laughs> so we have thumbs up for the silly goose and um hearts for the love for the love um let's have a look i have to click on this little icon to see how many two and one silly goose will be fun it would would, wouldn't it? Katie says she still hasn't done her shaker card yet. <gasps> that's naughty. That's naughty. You're still going strong with your craft mates. Been posted on your Instagram today. I haven't seen your Instagram. Why haven't I seen your Instagram? I must go on there after. Okay, okay. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look at what. Uh, one, two, four, five, six, seven thumbs up. Oh, Simone, you're the only one who, who wants the love for you. Like me, I want the love for you. I think we've been outvoted, haven't we? Maybe. Maybe if I'm not too tired, I might make one of each. Okay, 
Let's get going, folks. Let's get going. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay, okay, let me get that paper out because I really liked that paper. I liked the paper. Oh, that's pretty as well. Don't really go with a goose though, does it? Oh, mind you, it might go with that one. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Okay, right, so I might make a square card today. I might make a square card today, folks. Uh, da, 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 da. I need some navy blue. You'll have to bear with me because I did not come prepared, as you know. And um, I hope this don't all go a bit peak tongue. Because if it does, it's all your fault. <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> Can you combine and do both? Of course, I suppose. Bridget wants to make sure I use the silly gooses. She's got about a thousand fobs up there. <laughs> <laughs> um i yes i suppose i could do use both oh, anyway let's make a square card i'm going to rebel today i'm going to use a colored card for my card base um doo -doo -doo -doo, five Five by five or six by six. Five by five. How big are they? Sometimes I wish they were as big as they were on the thing. Uh, how big are you? Fairly big. He's quite tall. Mm. Okay. Maybe I might do. No, I'm not going to do six by six. I'm going to do five by five. Now you can only get one card out of it. Um, that's why I don't make a lot of square ones i'm a bit mean i like to get the best out of my stash so we're going to do five by ten and then score at five inches this is all five inches folks hello shirley you could do two geeses who love each other yes shirley i could let's have a look at them look, those two mind you they look like they're having a little bit of a fisty cups there look <laughs> having a bit of a high five punchy Back in there, I didn't do that properly. Score that. And Katie says, Oh, my gooses, coloured card for a base. I'm shooked. <laughs> you and oh, Bridget says she's not seen the goose made, made into a card yet. Oh, Charlotte, Charlotte Mallet. Um, Artisan, she's done some. She's done some really cute ones. I've pulled out all those geese and just thrown them back in the packet. 
that. I did like that and that, didn't I? Okay. So we want to go is that four? Let's have a, let's have a gander at how much that is. Four and a half. I hope you can't hear the telly. I'm going to cut the paper four and a half. Four and a half square. I'm going to keep it four and a half square. Okay. Um, I'm just checking to make sure I've not missed any, anyone on here. I'm just going to, I'm going to cut these into four. So when you're doing this, what you don't want to do is use your cutter straight from that corner because you'll just um, chuck it sort of up there, if you get my drift, I can't think of the word. Um, so come in a little bit. Go up and then go down. And then you don't wrinkle the corners, yeah? Try and keep those together. And gently uh, <laughs> twist, twist them around. I don't... It's a bit fiddly. Oh, there must be a um an easier way, I'm sure. But I'm not feeling the easy way tonight. So I'm going to start a little way up, go up and go down. There we go. Okay. Okay, cookie. I'm going to do that there. Um, and then... I think um, I don't know. A circle. I'm going to cut two just in case, um, just in case I want different colour. It is white, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm just off camera, I'm going to, um, off camera, I've knocked all the paper everywhere. I'm just going to do some um, die cutting of the circles. 
Well, I had some circles already die cut. Oh. Maybe I've used them. I must have used them. I treated myself to one of those little blue bohos. I really should have um, put it together and used that. But after um, everything going wobbly on the table last week, who would have thought Friday would have come around so quick? I thought I won't use it on the table. Um, because I need to find somewhere else to put my camera holder so that it don't wobble. Okay. Look here. They're from the stitched labels. Um, I do like stitch labels. to burnish my card from the back side Whether to um, whether to do a white background behind that, what did we do that one? We did that five, four and a half. So let's do four, and, four and three quarters, just to see, just to see. We won't waste it, but. Three quarters. Hello, Linda. How are you? Four and three quarters. We're using these lovely papers, and they're called Regency Park. And then we're going to be playing with a silly goose because um, that's what everybody wanted that's what they voted for me and Simone we wanted some love but you know we was outvoted I'm going to make sure I grow my nails I think because it's hard to pick up things when you've got no nails Now, do you see what I've done there? Look, I've got two different. So you have to be careful. One's going that way, one's going that way. Mind you, it might look. Let's see if it looks. No, that might make someone's eyes hurt. So just be mindful if you've got directional paper. So what do you think? Do you think that looks better on the white background or or on the blue background? I 
So thumbs up for the white background and hearts for the blue background, please. Stamping on a budget says she's a proper hoarder. <laughs> proper paper hoarder. Yes, I get that. I've got two, one, two, three. Well, I've got a load of boxes of the 12 for 12. And um, I've made a promise to myself that I will use my stash this year. Linda says both. Both. Um, oh, yes, because we could do one with um, the Silly Goose and one with the Love For You. Cool idea. Why did I not hear that? What colour is the stripe paper? Um. Mm. It must be petal pink. Mm. So if we're going away from using the white, hashtag white, I don't know if I've got petal pink. I've got petal pink. How papaya. I don't know if I've got petal pink up here. I might have it in the drawer. Bridget, you're in luck. Shirley likes the white. So we'll we'll keep the white for um the other card. And let's see if petal pink goes. <laughs> what did we do we did um four and three quarters didn't we Ugh. Always, when you're cutting, have the whole of the cutter onto the flat surface, not hanging in the, in the air. Because it, it does affect the way you, that you cut. Okay. Mm, I think that works well, actually. Oh, yes. Now I have to come back with the circles. Um, that's that bigger one, isn't it? And we'll do a petal pink circle. I'm really freaking your minds out this week, can I? <laughs> freaking your minds out. Oh. Okay, okay, folks, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Let's get some of this stuck down because I don't want to um, move it all about and shake it all about. That's really lovely. Oh, come on. That's why you're over there. All the way over there. Got 
be careful now when you're putting it. Because you still want a gap. You can always add a little bit of glue there. That's quite nice as well. But I think those geese, um, they go well with stripes. So you want to leave a little gap again. So you've got an equal border all the way around. I don't know if you can see that. See, um, let's get it. See, see, little equal border all around there, and then you'll have it in there as well. Yeah. Does that make sense, folks? Okay. That's it. That go down there. And we'll have that will go on there. And then make sure you've got your card up the right way, whatever way you want to have it on. I'm really going to blow your minds now. And I'm going to have a book fold one. Not a tent fold. A book fold. Who's going to go in there? Let's bring in some paper. Okay, okay. Um, quite like him. Because I think the paper is like party, party. Party, party. Don't forget, this is new. I've not used it before, so I'm just going to rub my finger over to take the residue from the manufacturers off. Then I'm going to use my Memento ink. Okay. Morning, Myrtle. How are you? Crafters, they had a choice today of what what um, stamp set to use. It was Silly Goose or Love For You. But it looks like we might end up having to use them both. I'm going to stamp the top part because I may or may not want um, to layer up uh, the mottets. Okay, so um, let's bring in some greys because we want to... Um, He's white, but we want to, is that dark grey granite, smoky slate, dark, never got the right ones, light grey granite, okay, let's do that. So we just want to go a little bit round, just so it's not so flat. I'm going to stick with the old bullets today. Can you see what I'm doing or shall I? 
Oh, yes, Paul came home. I'm going to get into trouble, though. I was supposed to have gone for an appointment at the MSK clinic for my neck. And I missed it because I was picking up Paul from the hospital. You know, trying to save the NHS some money so that they didn't have to bring him home on the transport and to save him an horrible journey as well, to be honest. And I've gone and... I've gone and wasted money by not turning up for my appointment. I thought it was the 29th, but it wasn't. It was not. So I'm in Stuttgart. But Paul's okay. His operation went really, really well. Um, only thing is, we've ended up with not our normal carers now, and I wanted to join Emma's thing today, and I couldn't because they come late, late, late. So that's light. Light so saffron. I've got loads of light so saffron. So I don't know where I'm getting all them from. And there's a dark one there. That must have been from retreat. That's a bit like um daffodil. it and then we want um petal pink petal pink this is strange because dark petal pink and light petal pink one is a pink and one is a peach so normally i start with the old dark the, the old light but i'm going to start with the dark today because if I'm being a rebel, it's best to be a proper one. Hey. Rebel all round. That's that was a dark one. Now we're going light. And then we're coming back again with the old dark. I'm leaving, as you can see, that bit there um, really uncoloured. I might use a little bit of light pale papaya because those colours do go well together. And that's a little bit darker, isn't it? Isn't it a little bit darker. And this is dark pale papaya <laughs> dark pal papaya that sounds a bit weird that's it then we're going to come in with the light petal pink now i can't be in two places at once i'll have to ring them up um Monday and my phone it didn't ping me to say hey, you have an appointment at the hospital ah, da, 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 da. Uh, let's have a look let's have a look I've got some things here bit of a white pen just working might be that's it as I say it might be because it's still wet okay then we want to be I want to have some navy blue but you know the um i'm gonna pull in a pencil because um no why is that that black
Yes, I thought there was a navy one. Um, be because um, it's... No, that's gorgeous grape. That's balmy blue. Too basic black. Because if I used a, um, in them tiny little bits there, it might bleed a little bit too much. So um, if I can find a... a Oh, really? Specific point there. But, um, we only used these pencils last week, didn't we? And there's not a navy blue there. So I don't know what's happened there. Oh, there it is. Can't see for looking. Spec savers. This brings to mind. It's navy blue. Um, so you can use your pencils as we as we did before to help with the shading and such. Um, and the colouring. It's just about thin enough to go into there and I wouldn't been able to have done that without um, going over onto um, onto there so I might bring in Calypso Coral as well to give a little bit of a shade and texture of the balloon do you ever um, use them both? You can use uh, your colour lifter to smush it around. To take away the harsh lines. Yes, I do like that. I like the texture of it. I know balloons don't normally have texture, but there you go. Also, what we want to do is just um, go over the grey that we went there just to soften, soften it up. But not too much because it's taken away the colour. And then... Um, Bring in some pencil, Daffodil Delight. That's it. There we go. There we go. And pop all these away because then that's less on the table. Um, those greys go up there. We can then pop over there. And that's it. in there there we go hi carol hi elaine sorry i never saw you come on excuse my hand my hands are not that color in real life i don't know why there it is there you go um let's have my little paper snippies and then we've got, just got to fussy cut this little fella I'm just going to leave a small board around. Hi, Lane. Long time no see. How are you? We're playing with um, Silly Goose. So it was... Um, it was not my choice. 
But it's a choice out of these two. And everybody, barring me and Simone, pick the silly goose. So we might do one with um, the other set because I do quite like that set. But I think you all wanted me to do my colouring, didn't you? Yes. I'm in the midst of sorting out a colouring course of sorts. It will be colouring the Simply Fairies way. Easy effects, easy colouring for, because colouring shouldn't be stressing you out. We can get the same effects with a scribble or two. We can get better effects, I think. <sighs> Whose idea was it to do a triple scribble on this balloon my eyes are going weird I just did a triangle to get that out Oh. That's it. And it's only a little bit, but it does notice. So if you look, it does notice. You just saw the post. Because when I use the stream yard, it does... Um, Notify sort of like pretty sort of 10 15 minutes before. Come on, it depends. You could have been eating your dinner. So, just a tiny. I'd like to say I wish there was some um, um, dyes that matched these little fellas, but if you fussy cut, then you've got money to buy another, a different stamp set, haven't you? So, well, I have anyway. That's the way I look at it. So if I've only got this much, and I don't know whether I want that one or that one, if I don't buy the dyes, I can have both. And you'll notice that I'm actually moving the card around rather than my scissors most of the time. Not all of the time. Most of the time. Okay. Let's get rid of all of this. Pop that straight into the bin, not onto the floor like I normally do. Let's get rid of that white bit there we'll chuck that away okay pop that on there pop that there um I like that, sending gaggles of good wishes. Oh, look, a silly goose told me it was your birthday. But then I do like... No, I think I'm going to... I like that, a silly goose. Let's 
silly goose. Send in a big honking thanks. I'm not sure about that. Are you? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. Elaine says, you, oh, you've been running around looking after Colin. He's been in bed sick. Oh, sorry to hear that. Oh. Okay, let's have a look. Um, I wonder what I'm going to do. Where's that navy? So you've got little bits of extra here. Might be better to actually put that on on the little stick. I quite like her. I think she's she's quite nice. I've cut the frog off, but um, cut the poor old frog off. Loads of different ways to put these on. I just pop them on the way that you feel more comfortable with. Um, but don't put it on upside down like I was just about to. I'm just going to eyeball it into the pattern, into the thing, and pop it up. That's it. Um, you can pop that over there. And sometimes, you know, if you can't get that straight, if you go at an angle, it's sometimes easier. Don't ask me how or the, why the logic behind that, but um, that is so. I'm bringing that in a little puff bag. Tap, tap, tap. Slightly tap, tap, tap. With the old Versa mark. Okay. And then on there. Oh my goodness me, you had to get an ambulance out as he was on the floor. Eight hours? Oh, I it spent eight hours up at Medway and got out at four this morning. This morning, did you get? Oh my God. It's not COVID, is it? I'll tell you, the hospitals are scary places at the moment. Scary places. The nurses, they couldn't go on strike in Paul's ward because it's um it's a critical ward. But they still didn't have enough staff to do most things. One of them told me that after COVID, no one wants to work there. And that's in St. Thomas's. That's really sad, isn't it? Okay. I love this little thing. This comes in the kit for um, you embossing. I'm going to take this off screen, try to anyway, but I always go underneath about an inch underneath so I'll take that off screen 
and um, and heat it underneath, and then you can see. You can see where um, where it's melting as you're doing it so you don't overcook it because with white you can overcook it. So now I'm just brushing off that excess powder. Not It's not um, embossing powder I'm brushing off. It's the talc powder. I'm not touching, I'm not touching the words for the minute. Uh, because um, they could still be warm and um, I'll ruin it, I'll ruin what I've stamped. That then, so if you're using dark card, this helps brush it away gently. It's a gent it really is gentle brush. You could put your, no, you couldn't put your eye makeup on with it, but you could put your blusher on with it. It's that gentle. I haven't really stamped it very well. I don't mind that. So I may use um let's have a look at that with that go in there. No, nope, that won't go on there. Um but the stitched rectangles were so if you if you was a little bit scaredy to to cut around You could use, oh, where did I put that? Oh, there it is. You could use um, a die. That's it. It was Monday night, Tuesday morning. It's not COVID, but an infection. Oh. I'm, I'm pleased it's um, getting better. So I'm just going to die cut this. Oh my goodness me, I've been, <laughs> I've been attacked, I've been attacked by, by my paper storage. <laughs> oh my God, get in there. I must have been vigorously <laughs> die cutting and um, shook the table just about fits on there I mean it's not entirely straight but you know it's a handmade card although I have to say I think it might be a little bit too here And that's where my other one comes in. So we'll just quickly um, colour that. So there was petal pink, wasn't it? It's dark petal pink, light petal pink. Oh yes, the um look. I was going to say that you know all the Lloyds are leaving Sainsbury's. All of them, all of the stores. Oh no, 
But the one in the one in Crayford, it's always so busy there. Lloyd's is um, a pharmacy company for those that are not in in the UK. Light petal, dark petal, and um, dark pal papaya. Uh, which is such a shame because they're open till till um is it nine or ten and otherwise you're gonna have yep i have to trace all the way to well in if i need to run out and get a prescription for paul after hours don't look the same color um so i've bought in the pumpkin pie i know it's petal pink but it all does coordinate as you know and then that is my pen and then i'm going to bring in the color lifter just to swish it around Then I'm going to bring back the um, petal pink light. Definitely look two different colours, don't they? Look at that. Why do they look like two different colours? Because I use Calypso Coral, that's why. You could smush it around with um, Petal Pink Light. Totally looks a different colour. I don't think I'll use it. Pop it over there for now because it might dry. Um, hello, everyone, Bridget. Hello. There's captions on the Facebook Live. What does that mean? Oh, look, sorry, I'm missing everybody coming on because I'm too busy colouring. Oh, thanks, Jan. They're great, aren't they? They're from um, this paper, would you believe? Regency Park. Oh, Linda can get it for me. Thank you. Hello, Diane. How are you? It does need to dry, I think, yeah. It does need to dry. Now, I'm just going to curl the little bottom. <laughs> little, his little tush. I'm going to bend that bit there. Don't bend it too hard because you might, it might end up for animal cruelty. And then around his belly area I've just broken the fibers up and I have used um, the ordinary the thin basic white but I'm um, I'm gently pushing well not too gently really with the tip of that and keeping my thumb there so the heat from my thumb is helping it mold just gives it um, a little bit of more texture and uh, just be sure you don't chop off his legs then you can have chicken wings for dinner or chicken feet we're well, not chicken really is he but um, you get my meaning
I'm going to curl that around a little bit more. On my Facebook screen, there, what you're saying, come up. Okay. I don't know what you mean, Elaine. I know, I know about captions, but did someone ask then? Uh, the Katie says the viewer controls ca closed captions. Click on the screen and the three dots come up. Click on those, and there you'll find closed captions to toggle on and off. Ah, oh, okay. Sometimes they make me laugh, though. Them, them um, captions. <laughs> They don't quite say they don't quite say what you're saying. So good knows how it's coping with me. Oh. Do you know what? I'm forever looking for large dimensionals and then now I'm looking for little ones. I don't want any little ones. Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, I've been an hour already. Why do I take ages to make a card? Maybe because I don't know what I'm doing when I'm coming on. But sometimes that's half the fun for me anyway. Pop them down there. I'm going to pop. Pop that. there then I just need I need two little dips there Okay, feel like I want to put something. They are good. There hasn't been any funny words. <laughs> um, let me pull this a little bit down here because you can't really see much there, can you? I'm going to make I want to put something on there. Trying to do a double bow, but it's not plain ball. <coughs> Excuse me. Just tuck that under there. It's all going a bit peak tongue here. It's because there's too many curls in there. It's 
start again, Kim. That's what happens when you have fat fingers. That's it. There you go, we have a bow. Okay. I kind of want something there. Maybe I should have just done the normal one. That's better. I don't want to move that. Um, let's get some dots. A big fat dot. That's it. And then he's going to go on there. We'll need some Elaine said that's what that's what I have trouble with. Little bows. I now use a fork to do them. Yeah, I haven't actually Use the fork technique. I must have a try. Um, sometimes my fingers, I can't feel them properly. I think that might be to do with the neck injury that I've acquired recently. But um, yeah, I can't do bunny ears. I, I just can't. I don't. I can't get the hang of bunny ears. Um. I just use like shoelace and try and um, do my shoelaces. That's it. Okay. And we can um, glue this on there. You must have read my mind or I read your mind, Linda. Behind the circle. There. And then we've got some of these pretty dots. Now these are adhesive-backed milky dots. Who thinks up of these? Who thinks up these words? quite pretty because I could have used the blue ones I think they're a bit um a bit too sharp aren't they oh so you've got um clear ones and pink ones I quite like the pink ones There. It's all over this way, isn't it? Um, I'm going to try this I'm going to see how this one is so 
See what the balloon looks like hanging over the edge of that wording. Otherwise I'm a bit tempted to snip it off. Okay. Because what I was thinking was there. But I don't like the way that I've cut that. Definitely neat. I keep saying I'm going to go to the opticians. Don't forget to take your fingers away once you try to snip in case you snip yourself. Don't you ever get that feeling when you think, oh, I shouldn't do it. Oh, let's not do it that way because I might knock that over or I might snip myself. But you still go and do it because you're a rebel and you snip yourself. <laughs> well, I do anyway. Nah, that was a waste of time. But what I'm going to do is I don't like the way that that's... I'm tempted to snip that right off. Done it. I think I might pop some Winkostello on there. Just because you have a bit of sparkle on your birthday, don't you? Just a little bit. That'll do, that'll do. There you go, folks. Do you like? Toodles, stamping on a budget. It's your dinner time there in the US. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining. That's it. Love that. Love that. That's the time. Well, it's been an hour and a quarter. So I don't know whether to do another card with this but that might mean that this video is then two hours long so I might come back another day um, and perhaps use those yeah I think I'll come back another day yes yes what's yes yes you not work tomorrow Bridget Shall I make this one then? It might not come out as cute as this. <laughs> Do you want me to stay? Give me some thumbs up if you want me to stay. I'll have to count the thumbs up when they go up. You, you you're in bed and you're, you're yeah Bridget would you get me some milk and bread in the morning if you're up please <laughs> I'll give you my shopping list do you mind <laughs> all right then I'll stay I'll stay so folks I've got this bit here they was the leftover wasn't they and we didn't know whether we wanted to do the white background or the I quite like that. What a rebel I am. I've not used a white card base. Yes, please, Bridget. Can I have four pint milk? <laughs> four pint green top, please. With the longest date ever on it. And um, you know the Sainsbury's whole meal bread sliced? The one you got me once before? I really like that brown bread. I don't I haven't found any brown bread that's as nice as that, not even in Aldi's. Please, would you mind? Awfully. <laughs> <laughs> I'd ask Frankie because he'd be coming here in general and you wouldn't have to come out your way but Frankie's still off, off on his Ollie, Ollie Bobs I think he's back in the country but I don't think he's back to work yet 
and I think it'd be very sad that he's been taken off with he's been taken off of my route anyway. Put it that way. <laughs> I don't think he's going to be coming back here. Bit mean of the and it's a bit mean of the um, company to do that. Right, let's get started. Let's get this party started. I'm. I'm. Do you know what? Um, I think I might stick with the same colours, so like the same same colourway. I think that looks quite nice, rather than the white. So let's do another one, which was um, four and three quarters, wasn't it? Because we did a we did a five by five square. So if I do four and three quarters. Oh, he is back at work because um, the lady at the care agency, she said, he's not back. Well, he is back into the country, but he's having a rest. I suppose he didn't want to go back there. Um, let's get rid of that white. Pop that over there. Pop them there. I'm just going to do another card blank. I'm going to stick with the navy blue. So we're going to do um, a five-inch square again. Okay, so if we go ten first, I think. No, let's do five first. We might get a bit more out there for our money. Use the flower side, but I don't think it goes with the flowers that I'm gonna I'm gonna use. I'll have a go. bits down there for the minute let's fold this up that'll go on there which flower side this one It don't go. It don't go with that though. Look, looks a bit naff. Oh no! No, Bridget, I'm very sorry about that, but it don't really go. <laughs> it's been back since Tuesday night. I'm missing all this talk here. Linda's back at uh, back at work tomorrow. Do I need any drugs? I think I'd, I probably do. <laughs> fixed slice. I don't know if it's fixed slice. I want to make salmon and cream cheese. <laughs> I think it's probably the fin the fin slice. Probably. Well, you 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 pick for me, and if it goes wrong, it's your fault. You don't like this this one here it don't look right does it but well, we use that and then use that but we're going to be using these flowers and they don't go together i use the no no flowers myrtle says no flowers we can't, we can't have the flowers. Myrtle says no. So I'll blame it on Myrtle now. <laughs> if it goes wrong, I'll blame it on Myrtle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, what we could do, because we've, we've done that like that, haven't we? What we could do is... That might work. Or oh, then it looks like an... an an hourglass then doesn't it well, never mind never mind never mind let's let's pop it all down and get get going 
Ask Frankie why he ain't been here. I want to know. <laughs> Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Now, I think that might be slightly out. Move that out of the way because that's not helping. Oh, yeah, that would be, that would work. And you wouldn't notice that it was slightly out then. <laughs> yes, you take the blame, Myrtle. are a little bit weird got too much over this side and not enough over that side but you know can't do nothing about that now my eyes are a bit sore so oh yeah yeah okay okay and put that onto there so that then we can have that out the way Move it to it like that. Like that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, petal pink. I think they use petal pink and calypso coral, and then we'll have to use blue for um, blue for the leaves because you can't use them. Um, Green. We ain't using green. Knight of Navy. And we'll have to use um, Generation Stampin. Okay, let's move some of this out of the way. Okay. Just clear this desk a little. Pop them over there. That's a bit there. Big shoulders, just like me. Big shoulders. I said the blame for everything, to be fair. And I'm like, okay. Better me. Leave someone else alone. <laughs> Because I haven't used this before either, so I'm just um, using my thumb to um, take the residue off. Oh, gosh, they're very sticky. So I'm using these two. Um, Let's hope this works. 
Oh, I haven't even used that. Look. That must be a new one. It is a new one. Because I've got up here in the car, up here in the house, I've got um, the Stampin' Up ink pad holders. But down in my shed, I have a bespoke ones from Rod's Creations in the UK. And um, I can fit the old ones in there, but I can't fit the old ones in the Stampin' Up ones, unfortunately. Okay, so I didn't think that that would um, show up, but it will. Let's see how this goes then, because. Oh my god. That's hard to do. Okay, so you've got to follow that long bit, but you still got to slightly twist it. Very hard to see. That didn't come out on that. I wonder if do that first and then do that that's easier actually that's easier because then you can see that you need to the hole there goes there and that big one goes there oh it's so much easier so that one must have been a fluke that's so much easier so we do the the inside first. Tell you what I'll do. Cut that one off there. Cut that one off there. Only because we can use the back side of that. So the darker colour first, insert first, and then we can line up quite easily then with the lighter colour. That's it. Use a stamping mat. Oh, the um, Stamparatos. I always forget to get it out. La, la, la. Okay, so oh, there's only <laughs> I'm tempted to cut them out and cut them out, be quicker, I think. Now, stepping up, why have you done that? In general, with the flowers, you give us two or three dies. Is that because you've given us words? So you, I've got to got to cut them out several times instead of all at once. So for folks that are new and, and that popped on, and I'm not looking, I'm die cutting these shapes on my machine off camera because um, it'd be wobbly, too wobbly and make your eyes hurt. Oh. 
Okay, mindful of the time. Um, I'm wondering if I did, if I even need to stamp. I even need to stamp the leaves because you might not be able to see. Hmm. If anything, it'll give a little bit of texture. Again, I think. Oh, that might be better, actually. If we just use that and then die cut, I think. That could work. Oh, God, you're all thinking she's going to be ages die cutting them. Uh, that's it. Let's that back. And I said, Gad, there's dies. You know, I ate fussy cutting. <laughs> Linda says, Thanks for figuring that out. <laughs> I don't even think it's because I use tone on tone either. I think it's possibly that will be the best way for those dyes. Oh, that's come out quite well. This camera makes my hands look weird. I have to take that off because you can't see. This might be a bit dark. It might not. This might not be um, come out well. This card. So if I'm unhappy, I'll change it before I post it on the social media. But thank you for your patience. Let's try it with just the three for the minute. And then if we need any more leaves, we've stamped them. we just got to die cut them. We probably will need more leaves. Oh, let's clean them because they'll probably go a bit purple. doesn't matter because um, when they go a bit discoloured, a bit like the Versamark, um, it, it enables you to see more clearly where you're going. Okay, okay, okay. We need, we need a circle. We need a circle, folks. We need a circle. It 
So that's from the stitched circles. I'll tell you what, move all of this stuff out of the way. Sorry about that. Get rid of that and get a new one. Squash, squash. I swear sometimes the spirit of Chuchi and Stamford are in here. Bye, Myrtle. <laughs> Katie's catching up on email. Excited that the card club's on its way. Yes, it's on its way, honey. It's on its way. Nice goodies in there. Okay, okay, okay. So much love. Put that down. Love. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So these two, they don't have any any things around them. Mm, okay. So I'm not going to use love because I've just found something else for you. Just going to cut those. Oh, God, they're thin, aren't they? Um, Let's have a look, let's have a look. But, uh, I haven't got transfer sheets. I was hoping I had some of those um, Some of those what's it you know the um square dimensionals the big square dimensionals i'm sure i have some somewhere i shall probably down the shed uh, so we'll just have to have these Transfer sheets. Okay. 
very old transfer sheets okay And I might have to use a rubber to um, take the adhesive off. We're talking about 10 years old adhesive sheets, if you don't use them that often because you forget that they're there. Um, Quite thin, don't they? Take them off there. Very thin. For you. Hi, Vicky from Arizona. Thank you for joining. We're on our last card. Our, our craft's slow, unfortunately. This is the one we made earlier. So we're doing the same papers and the same design. Um, that was using Silly Goose, and now we're using Love For You. may or may not use that because i might do let's have a look thanks for all you do looks nice there we'll see we'll see if um how this comes together Okay, where's my sticky fixers? You'll enjoy the replay. It's um quite fun that set. Why do I always end up with dodgy bits? That's it. You can put little ones behind it if you wish. But I... sure about this actually pop that under there maybe I should have put them on um, white card but Overlap that one. Overlap that one.
crap to have that there. Let's bring in this. Hi, Kay. How are you? We just you've just missed us make this one. Bring this one back in again. Everyone get fed up with that. Um, and we're doing the same design because we cut papers at the same time. Um, one loop, two loops. Cut. And then my fat fingers. That's it. Wonder if we Too curly. I think it's better under there, isn't it? Like the last one was. I'm okay, thank you. It doesn't appear anybody really likes fuzzy cutting by the sounds of it. I don't mind fuzzy cutting. Yeah, Katie says it looks like um, one background die for so much love and another for the for you. But I never saw the for you. Oh, the for you, yeah. I knew I was going to lose one of them. Knew that. Oh, well. Oh, there it is. Um, sorry, folks, I've just got bend down. I might not be able to get back up again. Oh. Yeah, Linda, I might have to do that, actually. Do um, gold or silver for you. Oh. So I picked that up then, and now I've got two little, two little ones and two big giant ones. And you need three on there, you don't need loads. Hi, Glenda from Australia. Thank you for joining. them out okay I think maybe I need like the, the little flower why didn't I do little flower go over there they're frightening me them dies Bring that in. Let's 
do think some of them flowers are a little bit too big. You know when you think, oh, I really like that set, and then you go to get to use it, and you're like, oh, no, I'm not sure about that set anymore. I was a bit like that with the other big daisy flower, what's it, one, that I had to use for artisan. I was like, oh, I don't like this now. So that's the big one, isn't it? <sighs> Kim. So I'm tired. You made, you made me stay in craft. Taking all the bits off. Taking all the bits off. What did we do? We said the imprint was easier to put on. And then the largest one, which which is normally stamped in the lightest colour, goes on over it because you can see where you've got to pop your bits. So that's Calypso Coral and Petal Pink. You can just about see it. Just about. Okay, let's get the little the little die. I'm glad it's not one of those ones where you have to twist it around sixty thousand times <laughs> to get it in the right place. Two hours. Oh my. I can never seem to make it. <laughs> Some people they go to their Facebook lives and they've made about four cards in one hour. And I'm like, not me. <laughs> I don't know why. I do try. Okay. Bring that back. Should have um, cut that, not tore it. Cut that down. Only because I didn't want to go stamping and cutting another one. Okay. 
Nee. No, I still don't like that. So I'm going to do, thanks for all you do. Yeah, that's a bit little though, isn't it? It's got a friend there, but it's so tiny. Good happy anniversary. there. So we're going to get our Versa mark and our embossing powder. We're going to tap that. Tap, tap, tap. We're going to pop it on here. Hi, Glenda. How are you? Don't think that's going to stick on there. That, that wasn't very good, was it? I'm just going to take it off of the screen. Um, I don't want to burn my fingers. It's taken quite a while to heat up. Bit nice stamping, but I can do it again tomorrow. I can. It's not. I should have used my um, silicon mat. And they're going to pop this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it down to that bit there. We can hide the end bit under a flower or something. I 
So that's from the stitched rectangles. Just using the brush from the embossing set. Faffing around. Know about this. Okay, I'm getting a bit. I'm not sure I like this one, but there you go. Let's see. So, why did that? They went really nice on this one, didn't they? But they don't seem to want to go on that one. They went really nice there. But do you know what? Hashtag use your stash. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. These are the pastel adhesives. They don't look nice on there either. Nope. Okay, let's see what's going on here, folks. They're a bit too shiny. Um, hashtag use your stash so I don't know if you was anything like me but when these started to go I went and bought a load up gilded gems I wish they would bring them back please bring them back Got three different sizes here, and we're going to use all three. And um, you must like someone if you're going to use loads, is all I say. This will be for a special person. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. That's it. If I'd have put if I'd have done that in gold, it wouldn't have looked very nice, I don't think. 
but um, never mind. We've got um, kind of white in the background there, so that will match that anyway. So we've used some of our stash tonight that we already have. Um, and uh, oh, I'm tired now. I think that's why I'm making a mistake. I'm going to put all my bits back. Let's move this out of the way so you can all see properly because you don't want to have to look among the mess. And um, there you go. Bling it out, bling it out. I might try them with the dark blue actually, Diane, because I do like them, but um, it's not a navy blue. It's like um, it's like a specific point blue, and I think it really went with the blue. Looked a bit weird. I'm sure. Um, didn't we didn't we do navy blue gems at, at some point? I thought we did anyway. They might have worked. Let's have a look. I like the gold. Um but can't really see them, can you? Maybe the gold actually. Pop them over there anyway. We're done now, we're done. And um, so there you go, there you have it. Um same layout but two different stamp sets so we used this one for that i was hoping to use these i thought the um the dies had a backgroundy bit um for the words and this one we used the silly goose a silly goose told me it was your birthday Let's bring that up so then you can see. There you go. So two, um, using the same colour. So I, I was a rebel today. I didn't use any white um, cardstock other than, obviously, for him or he. I keep calling him a him, but it might be a her. Um kept to the colours of the papers and so I just did a square put both of them on top of each other so I only had to cut the once really and then cut from corner to corner so I made four um, kind of pyramid-y style-y what's it we've got one we, we've got one that's got the stripes going horizontal and the other one that's going vertical yeah, Chris says she likes a silly goose. Hello, Chris. <laughs> uh, Non-binary goose. Yes, it could be. It looks like a boy. But it's all in girly colours, isn't it? <laughs> oh, poor old goose. So there you have it. Same um, layouts, but just different. You can have cutes, you can have flowers. I think I might have to play with this set a little bit more. Not sure. Not sure about that set now. I'd need to play with it a bit more. What was that other set called? That um, Sending Smiles or something, wasn't it? Sending something. Let me get in the S's. Is Sending Smiles, yes. When I saw that in the catalogue, I was like, oh, I really like that. And then when it was given to me to work with the artisan, I was like, oh, I don't like that. It's a bit like that set. 
sending smiles could have used those um those words didn't think about it really to be honest with you might might try that anyway there you go thank you very much for joining me everybody um yes Kay, i will be doing um classes fairly soon probably the end of february if i can get the the shed sorted i'm supposed to get another 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 shed um put up so that i can pop a load of stuff in but i might have to look into storage facility to store it all but yes um classes will be on their way in person classes will be starting um i hope you've enjoyed it tonight i have thank you very much for putting up with me for two hours and 15 minutes <laughs> maybe i chat too much i don't know um, i must be a slow crafter especially when um i didn't even know what i was going to be doing when i come on as as per normal anyway thank you very much all thank thank you from across the pond and wherever you all are um i really appreciate you um supporting me take care thank you bye bye